Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So today in this video, we are going to talk about TIFR exam. TIFR is Tata Institute of Fundamental Research. Forms were out already. I have made a video on that. I hope you have already filled the form. Exam is in the month of December and that's why this video is for you. So basically, uh, I'm going to talk about 10 those important topics which can help you to qualify this exam. Uh, these are the topics from where majority of the questions are asked. Now before going into that, let me tell you that this exam is little different from CSIR net or gate exam okay the usual exams which you go through or even from the jam exam so this particular exam is very different from them uh, TIFR conducts same exam same question paper for integrated PhD also and for PhD entrance for both of them because the cutoffs are different for both of them right so uh, like if you are planning to give for integrated PhD or if you are planning to give for PhD entrance for both of these cases this video will serve the purpose First of all, let me tell you that in this TIFR exam, you only get 40 questions. In CSIR net, you get 120 questions. Out of those 120 questions, you only have to do some of them based upon the number of, you know, uh, you have options over there to do. 65 questions you have to do out of 120. And in GATE, there is, although there is no option, but there are 65 questions in GATE exam also. And uh, yeah, so there are more number of questions over there. In TIFR, you only have 40 questions. Second thing is ki in um, CSIR net or gate, it depends upon that how much you have studied, how much topics you have studied, how much things you remember, how much formula you remember. In gate or in jam, I, especially I'm telling you, if you remember the formula, you will be able to do the question, especially from physical chemistry and all. But in TIFR, it does not happen like that. And that's, that's, that's what makes this exam very interesting. And like I like the way how the questions are portrayed or how the questions are asked in TIFR exam. They are not just based upon memory based or just on the formula based that just to remember the concept or just to remember the formula or just to remember the term and you will be able to answer the question. It doesn't happen like that over there. It's like if you know the basics, if you know the fundamentals of that topic, you have to apply them to do the question. Okay, so that is the beauty of questions which are asked over here. You can see questions which are asked in the previous year. Those questions are available on the website. I will give you a link in the description of this video so that you can reach out to the previous year's questions that makes the third point that the previous year's question does not help over here like if you do csr net exam or gate exam for those exams if you have done previous year's questions uh, it is quite high chances that the question of similar type will be repeated or uh, sometimes same questions are repeated right especially in csr net in gate similar questions are repeated but in tifr it does not happens like that uh, same to like even similar types of questions are also not asked generally so you won't see uh, repetitive questions. Questions are fresh, questions are new and every year the level of question exceeds a little bit. Okay, So pre solving previous year's questions will help you to build up that analytical mindset that how to approach these questions but it won't help you to uh, for the next exam. So you have to be prepared with the basics or the fundamentals of it. So these were some certain things which I just wanted to before going into the topic okay before going into that what are those uh, like 10 topics which can help you to do it. So uh, first of all, uh, these topics or the question paper, if you will see, you will find out that the majority of the questions, I would say around 50% of the paper is from uh, physical chemistry. It is It has very high weightage in TIFR. TIFR is very good or it, you can say it's easy to crack for those who have mathematics background, uh, who have a lot of, you know, physical chemistry interest for them this exam is easy to crack because out of 40 questions 20 21 questions are asked from physical chemistry one or two questions will be from mathematics so overall you will you can say that you have around 20 to 23 questions from physical chemistry rest of the 20 or rest of the 18 or 17 questions they are from inorganic and organic chemistry so physical chemistry has a certainly high weightage in it and that's what makes it important to study physical chemistry especially from basics you, you should know the concept if you have studied Raman spectroscopy it is not like you just know the formula of Raman spectroscopy what is Stokes line what is anti Stokes line what is the formula for that that is not going to help you should also understand the the concept that what exactly is Raman spectroscopy how is origin how it originates and then only if the question is asked over there you will be able to answer uh, I remember uh, last to last year it was asked about something related to the sea water and all. So uh, that was based upon this scattering phenomena and it like the question has not given a single sense that this question is from scattering or it is from Raman spectroscopy. But that uh, but somebody who has studied Raman spectroscopy can understand that 
it was exactly asked from there so that's what makes this exam little bit difficult from the other right so let's come to this let's come to the uh, the topic of this video that what are exactly those 10 topics which can help you to qualify this exam so as i said physical chemistry has high weightage or it has high lenient uh, le like the exam is quite uh, you know uh, it it leans towards the physical chemistry part so i start i'll start from the physical chemistry topics so you don't have to study everything from physical chemistry major topics which you have to do first of all you have to do quantum chemistry not only formula and all you have to understand and you have to like completely do the uh, quantum chemistry like uh, operators hermitian operators and all the things from basics like particle in a box then particle in a ring then particle in a uh, simple harmonic oscillator all the things which is there from quantum chemistry that plays very important portion of this exam second comes spectroscopy physical spectroscopy or molecular spectroscopy rotational spectroscopy vibrational spectroscopy rotational vibrational spectroscopy raman spectroscopy all these are important part like all these play important part over here uh, then the third thing is thermodynamics these three topics uh, like uh, and and kinetics also so uh, quantum chemistry molecular spectroscopy uh, thermodynamics and kinetics these four topics from physical chemistry can uh, give you majority of the questions like i can say around 10 to 12 questions you will be able to do if you do these four topics properly okay uh, then there are some more topics but i will talk about them later let's uh, let's stick to those 10 important topics okay so out of those 10 these four are the one from physical chemistry let's go to organic chemistry now so from organic chemistry first thing you have to do is organic spectroscopy questions are asked from organic spectroscopy like uh, like structure based questions like nmr structures and all so uh, like based upon nmr spectroscopy or based upon ir spectroscopy based upon uv visible spectroscopy so organic spectroscopy is first thing which you have to do then reagents and reaction mechanism and then pericyclic reaction so these three things you have to do i know reagents and reaction mechanism i have included in a single one it's a big topic but yes uh, the questions whichever they will be asked they are asked from here okay so these three things are from organic chemistry uh, from here if you do as i said uh, you will be able to do around four to five questions from organic chemistry part as well now coming to inorganic chemistry from inorganic chemistry again there are three very important topics one is coordination chemistry one is uh, second one is organometallic chemistry and third one is bioinorganic chemistry now i know bioinorganic chemistry is something which you generally ignore when you prepare for csir net or for gate but here you have to focus over on this because tifr is is an institute which is known for more of interdisciplinary research and that's why uh, like since they are focused on these areas that's why you will obviously get to see questions based on uh, like proteins based upon enzymes uh, based upon like um, hemoglobin uh, like hemocyanin like all these biomolecules which are there which you study in biochemistry or uh, in your bio inorganic chemistry all those things will be included so these three topics from inorganic chemistry from organic i already told you three and from physical those four so overall these 10 topics are the 10 major topics which can help you to fetch this exam you cannot uh, like you cannot think of skipping these 10 topics okay so you have to do these 10 topics when you are preparing for tifr entrance exam apart from these 10 topics there are more which you can include of course from physical chemistry you can include uh, uh, electrochemistry because sometimes one or two questions are asked uh, generally based upon Nernst equation and uh, then based upon that electric double layer formation a Debye-Huckel limiting law and all so that is one thing which you have to do uh, secondly you can also go for a kinetic theory of gases like uh, questions based upon average uh, uh, like average speed then uh, root mean square velocity and most probable velocity all those related questions are there so do that part also and the third thing which you can do is equilibria okay chemical equilibria and ionic equilibria so that makes three more additional topics in physical chemistry uh, although these are not that major you will either get one one question from them or you might not get a question from them but yes these are also additional things which you can do apart from those 10 topics electrochemistry ionic equilibrium and kinetic theory of gases so these three things are additional then comes to your uh, inorganic chemistry in inorganic chemistry additionally you can do uh, chemical bonding like vscpr theory uh, molecular orbital theory these are all basic things and the questions are not that difficult actually from this topic you will be able to do if you have studied for csir net or gate exam you will be able to do these uh, these questions as well so they are not that difficult you will be able to do them 
so that is also one additional topic which you can do and from organic chemistry if you want to do additional you can go for general organic chemistry as additional topic in order to study that but those uh, 10 important topics or 10 major topics which i told you they are extremely important apart from them uh, these additional topics are like if you are done with all of them you can prepare them as well again i'm telling you that preparation strategy should not be focused upon just formula reading or just remembering the formula it should be based upon the concept understanding of the concept and how to apply them and in in case if you guys are interested in it and if you guys will comment down uh, that you want previous year's questions solved okay if you want the solutions of previous year's questions of tifr i will try to do that but for that i'm giving you guys a task i want 20 at least 20 i'm keeping very minimum uh, task for you i need 20 different uh, comments in the comment section for previous year's question if i get 20 requests for previous year's questions then only i will start uh, make i'll make a series of questions for tifr otherwise i'll drop that idea all right so that is totally dependent upon you I, I want to see how many of you are interested in it how many of you are preparing for tifr exam and that's what will make that's what will motivate me also to put my time and effort on that particular series all right so do let me know in the comment sections if you guys want uh, previous year solutions previous year's question solved for tifr that i will do and that's it for this video i just wanted to make i just wanted to inform you all regarding these topics regarding it so that you can whatever you are preparing you can just give a you know a direction to your preparation for this particular exam that's it from my side guys for this particular video thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care hey guys so i teach live on an academy plus platform here i teach for the csi ug cnet category and you can follow me over here for regular classes you can access my free classes as well as my paid classes on this particular platform the classes which are free you can get that under the section of special classes Whereas in order to access my paid classes, paid live classes, we have to take an academy plus subscription. So do make sure that you take the an academy plus subscription to access all my paid classes, which are quite organized. The whole syllabus is being completed over there and the classes are quite regular over there. So make sure that you take an academy plus subscription by using my referral code that is N underscore Huda. That's it for this. Thank you so much.